Hey guys, I am so excited to do round two of our self-portraits. We have been doing such an excellent job and I have loved all the pictures you've shared with me on Seesaw. I wish I could show them off for like a day, but we don't have the time. But I want to show you a couple just because they're so cute. Like, look at this. <laughs> look at that place. Oh my gosh. I love them. Look at that hair. These are just perfect, guys. <laughs> and I just adore them. So I cannot wait to see what we do with them today. Well, today we're going to add a little bit to our picture. I've got a fun little secret thing we're going to do. We're going to do our skin tone. We're going to do the background. And we're going to decorate our shirt. A self-portrait will always tell something about the artist. So the first thing you want to do is I want you to think about something you like and I want you to put it on your shirt. Some of you already decorated your shirts and that's okay, but if you haven't yet, we're gonna get a crayon and I want you to draw something on your shirt that might tell a little bit about you. First, I'm gonna add these two little lines here so I can kinda of show where my arms are. I know some of you were kind of concerned that you didn't have arms, <laughs> but I put my little arms there. And maybe on Mr. Galloway's shirt, I'm gonna put a little cat head because Mr. Galloway loves cats. I've got a little black kitty at home whose name is Calcifer and I just love him. So I'm gonna put <laughs> a little cat face right here on my shirt just to kind of make it look cool. Maybe, um, maybe I'm wearing a green shirt. So I'm gonna take my crayon and color this in. Now, I do wanna talk just a second about coloring in because crayons are excellent art tools. You might not realize it, but you can do a lot with a crayon. So I'm gonna get this piece of extra paper. Oh my gosh, look at this stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna make your parents feel old by pulling this paper out. Remember this stuff? So with a crayon, you can color extra soft like this, I'm barely touching the paper. It's like if I pretend this paper is a kitty cat, I'm coloring it so softly that the color is just light and smooth. Or if you press a little harder, um, some people call it muscle coloring, you can get a really dark color from your crayon. So I want you to practice that for a second. Maybe have an extra piece of paper and draw some little circles. And I want you to do soft kitty cat coloring and fill in that circle all the way. And then super muscle coloring so you have a dark circle. Maybe you have dark circles and light circles. Now we're practicing staying in our lines. We don't want our picture to look like this. We don't want it to be all scratchy and scribbly. So try to take a little time and smoothly, softly color some of them soft and some of them a little harder. Now if you're, <laughs> you know, if you're like Mr. Galloway, when you're coloring hard, you might sometimes snap a little crayon, but we can use these little chunks too. Crayons are great for that. I'm a little too rough with my crayons, being honest. So that's kind of how I want you to practice coloring. Now on your picture, I want you to pick a color you want your shirt to be. So Mr. Galloway is gonna make his shirt a nice green color. That's Mr. Galloway's favorite color. And I'm gonna smoothly color in my shirt trying to stay in my lines and make it look soft and neat. Okay, we're doing the soft coloring right now. Sometimes if you color hard and do that muscle coloring, you can make it look really scribbly and cover up your details. So I wanna keep that soft coloring. And then maybe I'm gonna color my kitty. Now I'm using a black. If I were to color really hard with it, um, it might be too dark and I wouldn't see my details. So again, I'm doing that soft, Coloring. So I'm going to color my little black kitty's face like this. I'm going to give him a pink nose like so. And I'll give him some yellow eyes. <laughs> He's so cute. So Mr. Galloway has his cat shirt because, I mean, who doesn't like cats? There we go. And then I'm going to color my skin tone. Um, now, when you do your skin, it's very important that you color lightly. 
if you scribble hard all over your face, sometimes all those nice details like your nose and your ears and stuff are gonna not show up as well. So we wanna color soft. Now, the cool thing about skin tones is everybody has a slightly different skin tone. Almost everybody's skin tone is kind of unique. There's a rainbow of colors out there. So when you're coloring your skin tone, let's say I have a darker skin tone. I don't wanna just kind of press hard and color it in because that's gonna make it look really, um, like I said, it might cover up some of your details. So when you're coloring your skin tone, you wanna color softly so that it, it looks smooth. I would try to go back and forth, nice and neat in the same direction, like this, and um, be as smooth as you can be. Now you might have a nice dark color like this. Maybe you have kind of a, um, an in-between like color, like a, a tan. You could try to mix some colors together to match it. And the cool thing about the soft crayon coloring is you can mix colors really nicely. If you're coloring hard and you try to mix colors, I mean, it works, but it ends up looking less like a nice skin color. Um, if you have a lot of colors in your crayon box, you might have a lot of skin colors already. So I would try to find one that you think matches your skin tone and try to lightly color it on there. Um, if you have a lighter skin color like me and you don't have a peach crayon, you could use an orange and very softly color it. And it comes out kind of peachy, but it'll be a little more of an orangey color, but that's okay. It looks cartoony and nice. So Mr. Galloway is gonna use this orange and I'm gonna color as lightly as I can so it comes out kind of peachy, like this. And I'm gonna smoothly color my face in. If you're doing um, a darker tone, like I said, I would start soft to make sure it's gonna look the way you want it to. And then you can always go back and darken it or add a little more to it or press a little harder. But it's always better to start soft. If I start coloring really hard, I'm gonna leave the glasses white. I think that looks cool. If I start coloring hard from the get-go, you can't take it away. But if I color soft first, you can always make it darker. So I've got my skin tone colored in. Um, I'm actually gonna do my glasses a light blue to make them look kind of reflective and glassy. I think that'd be cool. So I'm coloring extra soft around there. Now you'll notice I did not color my eyeballs. I left them white. You wanna leave your eyes white. Look at my eyes. See how they're white? If you color over your eyeballs, they're not white anymore. But we can color the little ring around your eye, your eye color. So think about what color your eyes are. What color are my eyes? Yep, that's right. They're purple. No, I'm just kidding, they're blue. So I'm gonna take a blue and I'm going to color a little darker than I did my glass, but I'm gonna get my little blue ring around my eyes to make it look a little more like me. So cute. <laughs> oh, I'm so charming. And I've got my whole picture colored in, mostly. Now, if you wanna take a little time and decorate your background, that would be cool. This is another chance you can um, add some things that tell about you. Like if you want to put some of your favorite little characters floating around in the background, or you want to make it look like a Minecraft world or a Mario world, or you want to do something like that, um, that would be cool. If you want to draw your background like a place you love to go, like the beach or in your room or the library or wherever, or a coffee shop, um, you could kind of <laughs> make the background look like it's a place you like because you want your self-portrait to tell something about you. Okay. Um, so you can kind of go and add your background and stuff like that. I might skip that because I don't want this video to be too long and I want to do one more really fun thing. So you can take some time, make your background look really cool and go from there. Now, one, la Ooh, I forgot. <laughs> one last little thing we can do to our picture to make it look even more fun. Right now, um, we are being safe and practicing our social distancing and all that stuff, you know, we're like wearing our masks. So, sorry, sorry. So um, when we did our self-portrait, we don't have a mask on, but I thought this would be fun. Watch this. I'm gonna take my paper, okay? And I'm gonna fold up this little bottom part like that, and I'm gonna cover my nose. See, take the bottom, fold it up, and cover my nose. And then what I could do, <laughs> is I can kind of draw around like this, and I can draw up like a little circle like that, 
And now Mr. Galloway is wearing his mask. I'll put my neck like that. And you can decorate your mask any way you want. I'm gonna go in and put my skin tone where it peeks out in the little corners here. Okay, actually that's a darker color, but that's fine. And maybe Mr. Galloway's mask has, um, I'm wearing my little squid shirt. I'll put a little octopus on my mask for fun. Maybe there's a little octopus on here. You could put anything you want on your mask just to make it another fun place. You could, um, <laughs> you can uh, personalize your picture, okay? And maybe I'll color my mask whatever color I want it to be and go from there. Now I, again, I'm gonna kind of speed this up because I don't wanna make this video too long and bore you all to death, but I am so looking forward to seeing how your pictures look when we're done with them. Okay, so I've got my little octopus here, my little mask on, I'll color my neck. So cute. <laughs> and if you did do the background, you could do the background of this too, so it matches and that would look really cool. All right, so mask off, mask on. Sorry. <laughs> but I hope you had fun with your self-portrait. I am so looking forward to you um, taking pictures of them and posting them on Seesaw. I can't wait. And when you do, make sure you get a nice, good picture of it so I can really um, tell what a good job you did. All right, guys, hope you had fun. Next week, uh, instead of an art class like this, we're probably gonna have a Zoom session so we can show off our pictures and talk about them, okay? And I'll send you some information about that next time. All right, guys, bye.